Hello, Kuz Ambala, Tarina, Nache, the Tunkazona Bhutan Innovation Forum, the Bevachin, the Gimbe Kai, the Sunam Pelden Chendi, the Session Way, the Sunam the Kayama Machine, which are a Dulumigi, Nakil, Nashin, the Sugi Kachim Savachi Hema, Machigi, the 21st Century Economic Roadmap, the Anina Nache, the National Task Force, the Lachiha Bay Session Way, the Total Bevach Mogi, Tarina Innovation Forum, the Macharegi, the Artificial Intelligence, the the augmented reality ta anal mora khichu wale ni nabini le dulu macham ti me magya khab chi gya khab chi ndi gwe na me same chala na te najum de sulu na se me pitin to be be sishinu me ta ane bo da tari na ge mori ko le chi ta ani zumbi ge rigba khichu da ani zumbi te daru lakche khichu ge te ta na chi najum de sulu phim chi wa chi mori ko le sun dinta chi suna se ta mora chi wa sa di na a ni ko le sun milam na AI Kulamil, AI Kuladin, and so it more Captain Mola Majigara Ishiva. For the Anizum to Mori Kulasu, Dintachina, Shina, Tanachina, Chitam Dulumlo, that Najin de Suvik Pim Kulibe Tesuna Sushuni. So, with someone with that background, um, I would like to request you to share a story about yourself. I know you're an expert in AI and that uh, everybody has been following up, but last, last. a story about yourself that can influence and inspire the young friends out there. Last time, um, the Lindy, uh, English language. English language. AI. English language. Yeah. 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 And actually, the advent or the reason why we started working on it is quite the opposite related to the hype around AI. Mm. A lot of people were jumping onto the bandwagon because of the increased productivity, um, trying to get things done faster, mm. um, get them to do all of their menial tasks quickly and efficiently. But what we were looking at it was how the essence of humanity was being robbed. Mm. And a lot of people were just becoming robots, essentially, mm. because they were mm. asking AI to do the critical thinking. Mm. But then humans would then just be mm. do, waiting for just, yeah. an algorithm to mm. tell them what to do and how to think, essentially. Right, right. So I feel like if we continue down this trend, we will be regressing to a mean. And we are all, we are all sort of trading commercialization and productivity for mediocrity mm, mm. and that was like the main premise of why we started curiouser because we wanted to bring the human essence the humanity mm. of basically us mm, into yeah, yeah. Uh, the development space of ai and use the technology in a way that enables us and helps us think more creatively mm, and helps mm. us do our work in a more efficient way but not really um, replace us in a way that a lot of the right, negative right. and the pessimist trends mm. around AI have been talking mm. about. Okay. So that's what I'm working on. But essentially how I got into this space mm. and my background, like Tasha mentioned, I feel like my life has been a series of happy accidents mm. where because um, I've, I've always been open to learning and I'm still, I feel like a, the huge part of what I enjoy in my work right now is also that the research um, and the learning part of it. Uh, and I've been in the tech space for the last eight, almost nine years now. Right. Um, mm. And although I joined from more of a developer's um, consumer tech perspective, over time I've transitioned into fintech mm. and mm. then eventually into um, AI as well. And nothing was planned. I feel like I all see. of that happened through conversations, meeting people and also having, like I said, facing these issues and problems myself and really mm, thinking mm. hard and long about why we're actually doing the things we're doing and building the tech that we're building and ultimately if it's not servicing or helping humans or helping us then why we're we building anything at mm, all so yeah. a lot of the conversations around everything i've built so far has come across as how can we do better how can we help uh, mm. the people around us and the community around us and i see a lot of opportunity in bhutan as well i feel like there's no deficit of talent or skill mm. in bhutan mm. but i do feel like there is a deficit of optimism sometimes okay so i feel nice. like if we can all rally up and really understand mm. that we can use the skills and the talent that we have mm. to build something together especially now leveraging AI, leveraging other forms of technology and seeing how it can solve local problems, local mm. challenges that we face and really catering it to the Bhutanese context, mm. then there's a lot of opportunities. Yes, nice. And on that, I think just uh, yesterday I met uh, Ngawang, 
Love. A very young, bright, uh, you know, uh, uh, witness, uh, uh, I would say one of the youth leaders. So he has uh, been working on the special uh, happiness app uh, with a lot of the spiritual leaders, some of the big uh, Rinpoches who are involved in that. And also he seemed to have uh, colleagues who are working in Japan and also in the U.S. Uh, collaborating with him. So I, I feel that in a lot of ways, uh, you know, you have been a trailblazer in this uh, particular area. And so he's building what we call the Goo.ai. Uh, right, right. So G U U man. Go is number nine in the number nine eight I, and uh, he also got the domain uh, registered. So oh, in nice. fact, uh, 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 I have a small episode uh, with uh, Naong yesterday, yes. and I feel that uh, you know uh, it'll be people like yourself, uh, young people like uh, Naong and you who will be really spearheading this. And I would, I would like to request you guys to continue to do so. And in this also, I think. Um, uh, I'll just like to bring back two terms which I have been uh, hearing over the last few years. One is on the artificial intelligence rather than artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. as you were pointing out, and then in QSR, and then I think you were saying, you know, uh, in a way not very conventional, but you're trying to actually, you know, sort of reverse some of the trends in yes, AI yes. and bring the human element. Yes. So what do you think of that? And the other one is also, is there an opportunity for people like Ngong and his friends to adopt and build a Bhutan GPT, and if so, will that get them into mm -hmm. patent trouble, or are mm -hmm. they, uh, you know, they can use a brilliant mind mm -hmm. to do that? Yes. So to answer your first question, right. Allah, I think lately we might get tricked into thinking that the artificial, like the AI models that we use, mm. are actually rather than artificially intelligent. Mm. So that's important. I feel like. It is even perpetuated by the terms we use in the development space. So, for example, we use terms like neurons and neural mm. networks. And we also use words like thinking and generating when we're describing the development of a technology. Ultimately, an AI is a tool and it does not have an agency. And everything that you yes. get, the output that you get from AI is ultimately from the database mm. uh, that it is being served, the input that it's being served. So, to talk about artificial intelligence, I feel like It'll require a lot of work just to curate and uh, okay. build a platform like that, but right. not impossible. I need mm, to understand mm. the nuances a little bit more to um, really comment on it intelligently. Mm. So that's the first part of it, I would say. Um, a lot of times people always get, um, pe people always worry about like robots taking over and gaining yes, consciousness. In they worry about in similarity. Yeah, yeah, similarity. But I think those are a little bit too exaggerated mm, and definitely mm. not something that we need to worry about in our lifetimes. Mm, mm. Um, and ultimately, we just have to understand that so long as we are in charge of inputting the data, mm. the output can be controlled as well. So that's the first part. And the second part about Nawang and the Young Bhutanese team, right. like building a Bhutan GPT, What's important in building a GPT or a language model is ultimately data. Mm. And mm. for ChatGPT, for OpenAI, for Gemini, for all of these like big um, companies, Mistral, mm. um, Anthropic, they have billions of dollars at mm. hand yeah, and correct. also like trillions of data points. Mm, mm. So I feel like in Bhutan, the challenge would be just data. Correct. I won't yeah. look at it from the perspective of the development of AI or mm. from the development or from the perspective of or question the talent or the skills of the Bhutanese people. Ultimately, if we have a substantial amount of data that can be used um, for the development, that's mm. ultimately where we need to go. Mm. But there is the, the nice. classic saying of like, poorer places collect poorer data. Mm. So I feel like that's something that ultimately needs to be rallied by the government, by yes. regulators. Less. And if we can get our hands on better, more informative data, the development side, I think, um, would be the easy part. Okay. Less. Less. Thank you so much. I think, Sanam, for breaking down all this complex uh, topic into very simple and then highly relevant and contextual. And then also your profound input in terms of value, which you discussed earlier as well. Less. So uh, really appreciate it uh, you know, for our friends out there who are watching and interested extremely in where AI is heading. And my final question is, who really is Sonam? And are you are you a rebelist child? You know, I just want to really I can't I want to put you on the spot mm. on that. You can't evade that question. Mm, mm. I think that's what inspires a lot of young people there. Mm. 
who are you? I, I love that question because I think ultimately it digs deeper into like who are you mm. when you remove mm. all of the mm. external mm. external externalities and identities. The tip of the is, yeah. yeah. So when you remove your job, your title, mm. everything else, like mm. who are you? Mm. And I think over the years I've spent a lot of time just thinking about it. And ultimately I think it Sonam is somebody who likes to learn, somebody who's mm. curious mm. and wants to keep exploring and asking questions no matter how hard or dumb they might be mm. um, so yeah a curious child a curious person i see i, I see and that's why i think you have the curiouser.ai yes so so on that note i think uh, for everybody out there you just need to be curious you just need to keep asking questions as sonam was saying and then after that i think all the complexities and knowledge of ai technology and augmented reality will follow more yes. Nasa, thank uh, you so yes. oh, thank you so much sir nam nasa kadisha mela she the whole nam is improve as to sa ah improve ya himale himale leshi thank you yeah sorry himale leshi mero nasa kadisha thank you nice.